Yo, 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 YouTube, what is up, man? It's your boy, DMD, back with another video. And I want to make another reaction to, you know, this individual that got hit by a brick uh, in Houston, Texas. And right off the rip, I just said, you know, of course, I don't promote no violence against women. Women don't deserve to be brutally attacked just because they don't want to give their number out, right? I'm all for that. But from the jump, I said, man, something ain't right about this because I just find it hard to believe that a person <laughs> just a person just going to come and just hit you in the head with a brick. And just because you got rejected, right? I'm saying, was there an argument? Was she provoking? Was she getting violent? Did she was she the aggressor? So that's what my first thought was. I'm like, it's very unfortunate, but it seems like there's more to the story than what is being presented. Now, shout out to MTR. MTR is a great content creator. I love watching this content. Make sure if y'all haven't watched them, go definitely check them out. Uh, very, very dope content creator. Dope, dope, dope individual. Very, very educated, smart brother. And I was watching his video and he answered a lot of my questions. And once again, Everything, this is just his opinion, but I'm just reacting to his video. And once again, make sure y'all go check him out. Definitely a dope, dope, dope content creator. Go check him out on his YouTube channel. And I want to react to him saying that what she doing is a scam. She's a scam artist. Now, this is according to him. Now, I'm not saying that's, that's what she's doing, but the things that he point out makes you just question. All right, so let's react to this. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life. Now, everybody's seen this, right? I don't really have to go over this, right? Every Everybody's seen this video, but let's get to the meat and potatoes, right? Watching A young woman that is in the hospital room, you can hear the beeping in the background. Right, right, Who was complaining right. about a situation that she was involved in where she got hit right. with a brick which is a force multiplier. If someone hits you with a brick, they intend on doing not just harm, but a lot of harm. Facts. You hit someone with a brick in the face and they might die. If not yeah. through the impact of the brick, but the impact of your back of your skull hitting the ground, it is a serious situation. Definitely, what is it definitely, that we also definitely. are looking at right here? We're looking at a giant hematoma on the side of her head. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> MTR is crazy, man. MTR is crazy now. <laughs> MTR is crazy, man. I didn't, I didn't click that button. How did, how did that? How did that get there? I don't. I don't. I don't quite know how this how this picture got up on the screen right now. But but it's but it's here. Right it's just it's just all of a sudden just popped up, huh? But this is absolutely insane, man. Like I've never seen nobody face swell up like that. But anyway, let's get to the content. Tiff, the same way that Oprah directing, helping to direct or produce the color purple. But it's but it's here right now. Um, yeah. What she uploaded. Okay, and the cultural implications of what it is that she uploaded mm -hmm. drives a narrative. Mm -hmm. The same way that Oprah directing, helping to direct or produce the color purple dro drove a cultural narrative. Mm. And I've argued that that cultural nar narrative has destroyed a component of the image of the black man today. So when we Yo, and that's what I literally said yesterday. I said, I didn't like the way that she was just, she kept repeating, this black man didn't help me. These black people, this black this, I'm like, we can clearly see the color of the people skin that you're around of. Why you gotta emphasize? Why you gotta highlight that? Like I'm a black woman, they a black man. We can clearly see that. Like I don't understand why people always use that. You know what I mean? Especially times like this when you know black men are already getting, you know, crucified and like why are you throwing more salt on the wound? You know what I mean? So I definitely uh, agree with his point right here. We have these viral videos that drive a cultural narrative. Yeah. It is absolutely necessary that we begin to speak about it. I agree. And determine if it's right, wrong, or not, or if it truly should impact us, or not. I okay. Agree. But let me say this. Okay. I do not condone whatsoever the violence that is purported to us within this video. It's not a part right. of me. It's never been a part of my platform. I've right, never right, said right, that. Right, in right, fact, right. I tell of course, men of course. to respond to situations in a stoic manner. All right. Well, let's skip over this. But basically, he's saying that. You know, she's a scam artist. They turn you down. Okay. <laughs> happened. I think that she is one of the biggest scammers that we've seen this year, and I'm gonna go into exactly why. What I present to you, yeah. to exactly 
f***ing happen. I think that she is one of the biggest scammers that we've seen this f***ing year, and I'm going to go into exactly why. What I Let's get into it. Present to you today that this is not an isolated incident of what that she did. Mm. She just uploaded this GoFundMe a day ago, or her friend did, or whatever. A day ago. But what if I told you that she did another GoFundMe three years ago with mm. similar circumstances surrounded about this? Wow, so she she got over $35,000 in donations just because of this incident. And now apparently she did this before. So this is not her only, this is not her first GoFundMe account that she has raised due to medical conditions. This is her second time, allegedly. All this is alleged. I'm just saying allegedly just to, you know, protect Mike. But allegedly, according to MTR, right? Gail at night, again, another YouTube content creator. Shout out to you, Gail. She wrote me this email. Let me read it right now. A couple of months before she posted the GoFundMe that we currently all see, she claimed to have a near Ahmad Arbery, Sean Reed experience. I'm gonna bring this GoFundMe up on the screen here in a couple of quick seconds, okay? Wow. And when you think of Ahmad Arbery or Sean Reed, you think through the disrespect of black people who lost their lives and were actual victims of racism and white supremacy. Right, so it seems like she uses this race card and she uses racism and, and, and all these different type of aspects to gain the sympathy of people and then she gets into a situation and does a GoFundMe. Now, once again, this is just all alleged, you know, I'm, I'm gonna skip through some of this, but this is apparently, allegedly, her first GoFundMe account that she made about her medical bills of her being physically assaulted by someone because of her race. Let's go over her GoFundMe back in 2020. Matter of fact, before we go over her GoFundMe, let's look at the actual article that was written about her and her experience, which led to the GoFundMe. Doctoral student shares her near Ahmaud Arbery, Sean Reed experience. Mm. Speaking from the perspective as a black person, a woman, a Somalian, a refugee, Rhoda says black people have earned the right to defend themselves. Oh God, here we go. What? All right, so y'all can read all this, right? Right. I, I don't want to. I don't want to go through his whole video. You know, if if y'all want to see his whole video and his whole breakdown, y'all can go check it out on this channel. But 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 basically, um, he's just summarizing and reading everything that you see right here of her allegedly, you know, having a GoFundMe for to pay medical bills to to pay medical bills on a similar situation that allegedly happened to her to this current situation, right? Color defines Rhoda goddamn lifestyle. <laughs> else for your malarkey. You blame everyone else for your bullshit. Ma'am, what are you doing? Negativity seems to follow you, but you seem to always blame everyone else for your malarkey. You blame everyone else for your bullshit. He was going off in this video. Like I said, if y'all wanna see the full video, y'all can go check it out, right? Pensive, passive state. And then she wrote this in her IG. I was shopping at a Dollar Tree, speaking Somali to my sister when I noticed a Karen staring at me suspiciously. I paid her dust like I always do the girls, but then I was effing literally shaking towards the end. Check the phone, focus. This chick is so crazy. The important thing is I was physically safe. Too many black people die because of Karens who refuse to let us live in a society that refuses to give us the benefit of the doubt and the public empathy we so often and easily give everyone. This is the same young woman that walked up to this guy and slapped him in his face. This is the same woman. And I did, I literally just posted the video about this, like, it seemed like it was a stunt. It seemed like it was a prank. It seemed like it was a stunt. So she goes and she slapped this white guy and then she starts twerking out of nowhere, right? So it's just a lot of questions. Something, some, something sounds a little fishy. She has issues. She has problems. And she's a liar. I, I walked into the store and I was there one minute in the island aisle with an elderly white woman, Osmond said. It was then that I got off the phone and a manager approached me and told me that they received complaints. I was swearing in the store. How did she go from speaking to her sister in her na native language to then people complaining that she was cussing in the store? What? So not only that, right? So basically what he's doing MTR is saying that this is not her first rodeo, right? That she uh, done this before, you know? So that's one situation where, you know, it kind of kind of makes you question like, all right, so what's, so what's really going on with this situation, right? And then there's another video that there's a, a guy that allegedly was there 
speaks out on the situation. And then I'm going to leave y'all with that. And I'm going to let y'all, you know, think what y'all want to think. Let's go to this video right here. Yeah, I just want to see need to know the whole story. Uh, hold on. Let's find a video. All right. I, I hope every black. And it hit me in my. I was one of the guys who was there that did not help her when she was getting hit with a brick. Right. I feel like people need to know the whole story before they start commenting and saying things they don't understand or they don't know. You guys don't even remember who you guys are trying to defend, who you guys are trying to speak up for. This is the same woman that was going around smacking white people in the streets. She's not innocent. She was actually taunting the guy to hit her. Why would I go defend somebody that's actually looking for trouble? Mm. This woman, she is literally a troublemaker. Everybody that knows her in our community knows she's a troublemaker. I'm not going to risk my life over somebody that's actually out there looking for trouble. If you go on social media online, you're going to see some of her antic videos, taunting people, looking for a reaction. What well, she got, what she been looking for, and you guys are giving her the attention that she was actually seeking for. I don't regret not standing up for her. If you look at all the videos, I was there. I don't regret nothing whatsoever. I don't regret standing up for her. I'm not saying she deserved it. I'm not saying that any man have a right to hit a woman, especially with a brick. Nobody deserved that. But at the end of the day, there's more to the story. She's not as innocent as she's trying to portray herself to be. She wants attention. She's an attention seeker woman. She tried to go viral, and you guys have given her what she wanted. Yes, she get. She, yes, she did get hit by a brick. Yes, I saw it. Yes, I was standing by doing nothing. And if that shit happened again in the same circumstances, I will watch because she's not as innocent as she portrays herself to be. She was taunting the guy. She was calling him all type of names. She was degrading him to a point where he resulted in picking up a brick and hitting him. I don't condone that type of behavior, but once again, she's not as innocent as she portrays herself to be. I literally, like, I remember a while back, she's posting videos going around in public, literally smacking old white people in the face. For what? And now you get hit by a brick, now you want to cry wolf? And I don't care. You, you, you want in trouble, you got trouble. That's why I was still buying watch. So don't, oh man, that, that whole situation got me upset. Yeah, so you see now, you heard that, okay? That so, once again, so the person, you know, this, 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 this person right here is saying that Hey, I was there. I seen what happened. Y'all don't know the full story. She was provoking. She instigated. She that she started this. This is what she wanted. She she's a clout seeking person, and we are giving her what she wants. Buying the black man. Everybody was posting it on every social media platform, talking down the black man. How the black man did not protect her, but nobody ever questioned her whatsoever. The same energy you had when you were defending her, when you were out there advocating for her without asking any questions. How many ask? Where's the proof? Where is the where's the brick that they hit you with? Where's the police report? You know why are you recording instead of calling the police? You know instead of asking those questions, the moment she posted a video, people, women, automatically believed her. But now I post a video telling my truth, telling what I saw, and people are like, where's your proof? Why you want me to go back to the scene of the crime and pick up the brick and show you, oh, there's a brick that hit her right across her face. Is that what you want? Like, I'm going to use your comment to also address other people. You know, people call me a coward. That's okay. You can call me all you want. All I know is, I'm my life. I got my health with me right now. I got, to, I got to go home to my daughter that night. You know what I'm saying? I got to go home to my daughter. That's all that matters at the end of the day. I'm not about to protect somebody. I am not about to risk my life for somebody that's out there looking for trouble. I'm not saying what happened to her was right. I'm not, I, I, I condone violence. I'm not, I'm like, like, I'm not saying it was right for the guy to with a brick. But all I'm saying is, I am not willing to risk my life for somebody that's out there looking for trouble. I have a daughter. I have a family that I gotta go home to. He could have had a gun. Once again, like, I, I have a daughter. If that happened to my daughter, that guy wouldn't be alive. I'll be in jail right now. But I'm not gonna risk my life for somebody that's out there looking for trouble. I'm not. And you can believe me or not, that's up to you. I, I, like, the only reason I posted that video in the, in the first place was to show people that there was another side to the story. To tell people to stop vilify the black men. The same way people are doing to me in the comment section, calling me all type of names. That's all I wanted to do. Like, not every black person is bad, not every black man is bad. We want to protect our women. But at what cost? Don't go out there looking for trouble and going like, oh, the black man's going to protect me. Now you're putting exactly. my life in danger. You, exactly. You're purposely going out there looking for trouble, waiting for a black man to risk his life for you. Exactly. She wasn't innocent. I'm not about to risk my life for somebody that's out there looking for trouble. Why are you putting my life in danger? If she cared for the black man, she wouldn't have been putting herself in that position. She would have been causing trouble. But if she don't care for the black man, she's out here causing trouble and vilifying the black man, telling him, oh, all your black men, how come nobody's protecting me? How come nobody help me? Why would I risk my life when y'all out there looking for trouble? Why? It's like, you don't have to believe me. But all I'm saying is, I will stand up for the truth, no matter who tells the truth. I'm not saying believe, I'm not begging you to believe me. That's, that's your decision to make. But that's my truth. Yeah, so... Wow, you know what? I actually agree with this young man right here, right? There's a lot of women out here that cause trouble, that provoke trouble, that instigate. And then when situation goes down, they over here screaming, say, black man, help me, help me, help me. And these are the same black women that always say that we don't need a black man, right? Ladies, y'all need to be careful what y'all saying. Because there's a lot of women out here saying, we don't need black men. We don't need no black man. We independent. We independent. But y'all definitely need us when... 
when it get real, y'all definitely need us. If somebody break into your house, you definitely need 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 black men. When somebody take your purse or when or when your uh, car breaks down, you know, y'all only need black men. It seems like when it's only useful to you. But y'all want to be so independent, so strong. We don't need black men. This and that. Nah, come on, man. We need each other. I need you and you need me. We got to stop with all this separation. We as a people, we need to stand together and support each other. But people are being so negative and being so uh, uh, toxic and falling into this, um, into this, uh, 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? In, 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 into this social BS that they're trying to push onto us. Black men are under attack. And in my opinion, I think this is another attack on a black man because I'm, telling, I'm like, why does she keep saying black man is? Black men ain't protecting us. Black woman, you need to protect yourself. But not only that, you putting other black men in danger. So you want to provoke violence. You want to instigate. You want to uh, 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 do things that put yourself in a situation. And when you get caught in that situation, now it's bloody murder. Now, black men, help me. How about you help yourself? So this is very interesting, man. Y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know about this. Does this give y'all the evidence that y'all need to see about this situation? Once again, I don't, you know, I, hey, I don't know. This definitely questions, well, answers some of the questions that I had. This definitely answers some of the questions that I had because I was like, man, something just don't sound right. There got to be more to the story, right? So... Shout out to this young man right here for coming out, you know, putting his life, well, I wouldn't say putting his life on the line, but, you know, people saying that he's getting attacked because they are, uh, you know, accusing him and, uh, and uh, attacking him of not protecting uh, this woman. But I already played the video of this woman running around slapping white people, you know, trying, trying to provoke someone in doing something. So it seemed like she got what she wanted. If the rumors is true, right? If if what everybody is saying is true, it seemed like she got what she wanted. She finally met someone that, uh, you know, did something to her so she can make a video and she can go viral. And this is not her first time doing a GoFundMe asking people to pay for her medical bills. So like I said, I'm not going to come out and just say that she's a scammer because I don't want to, you know what I mean, put that type of, you know, jacket on somebody. But this definitely just answers a lot of unanswered questions that I had. Because I'm like, so a guy just randomly just picked up a brick and just hit you just for no reason? You ain't do nothing? You ain't spit in this man's face? You ain't argue? You ain't, you ain't yell at him? So he just he just randomly just picked up a brick and hit you because he wanted your number and you said no. I knew something was fishy from day one. Once again, I'm not saying that she is a scammer, but makes you think about it. Ladies, black men will protect you if you're worthy of being protected. Y'all gotta chill. Y'all gotta understand, you're not a man. You're a woman. You need a man to protect you. You need a man to honor you. So can y'all please stop with this? We don't need a black man. Da, da, da. Yes, y'all do. Because right when something happens, right when your toilet break, right when your car break down, right when your generator break down, right when something like this happen, you're going to cry to the black man and say, why you didn't help me? So us as a people, we got to stick together and support each other. Black men will protect black women. But black women, when are y'all going to protect black men by not putting yourself in a situation for a black man to jump out the window, not knowing what's going down? Think about that. It's your boy Dan D signing out.